Well, the pros are that we get to go to work every day. The cons are the kids have to go to work every day. <laughs> they, um, they fight, they battle, but it's typical everywhere. You got soreness and you've got mental fatigue because you just football all the time, which I try to tell them, hey, if you want to play in the NFL, this is how it is. But I think pro-wise, you see guys gelling together, learning to compete, learning to communicate, learning to function as one on our side. And then you see on the offensive side, guys making plays and each team having to, or each unit having to react, having to answer adversity, respond after the other side makes a play, or you give up something and a coach is getting after you, or you see on the field that you give it up. So I think it's probably typical year in and year out, but I really like the cohesion of this team offensively, defensively, and together. And um, transitioning from another coach, Jay Ham, was it was it was a good move because I like Jay Ham a lot. You know, he go sit down and actually like teach you everything step by step, instead of like like trying to force you to learn anything. He go like take his time with you. Yeah, I, I talk to our room a lot about that. I have watched some film from last year. Uh, when we study cut-ups and we watch the, the mistakes uh, made from last season. Um, and I talk to him about the hidden yards. Like, there's a lot of hidden yards that we left as a unit on the field, uh, whether it be a bad release, whether it be, you know, the timing of a route or not running the right steps on a route. Uh, so not just Trey, but the entire room, we do talk about, um, you know, what we saw on film and how do we correct it in, in, in moving forward. You said that second corner spot. <laughs> you know, you're just assuming Farley's going to be the guy. Um, I mean, that's a good assumption. <laughs> you know, I went into fall camp. Um, I mean, whoever comes out on top comes out on top. And I know Farley's got a great skill set that some of the other guys don't have. And he may have a head start because he had 12 games of, of starting last year. But, you know, Jermaine Waller is doing a heck of a job this camp. Had a great spring. Every day he's come with that lunch pill and he's working. Uh, Quillen, you know, has got some experience as well. He's doing a great job as well. I mean, I've got some guys, Amani Chapman, Nadir Thompson. I finally got Jeremy Webb back, you know. So, I mean, I've got a room of guys that are hungry. At the running back position, like, you know, we all have a different skill set. So uh, they use us all in, in different ways. You know, for the most part, we understand, you know, what our role is. But at the end of the day, you know, we're still competing. We're still trying to get each other better. We're still just going out there grinding just to get better individually and as a unit. So uh, Yeah, I mean, helping them out, that's just that's the easy part. Now when they get on the field, they got the technique they learn, the stuff we learn in the, in the meeting room, they got to go put on the field now. If they mess up, I'm always going to be in their ear, let them know, get them right. As long as they get right and don't make the same mistake over and over again, they're going to be good. We're good. We all, every day, trying to just get better and compete and make the next person better. So it's not like last year it was more so – we all was new to it, but now it's like we know more, so we can also help the, on the things that Coach Mitchell can't pick up.